Hey, this is Mo from the Mobile Marvel, and this is not a review. This is more like a tutorial. So what are we going to do? We're going to talk about Huawei devices and how to set one up. There is that 4.2, 4.3 Harmony OS. They do have GMS built in. So we're just going to put that to the side. Harmony OS next. Easy abroad is really the main way. It's a lot more controlled. You can't change keyboards. It's not really that much to talk about it. It's a pretty straightforward setup. There are plenty of videos that explain it. it. It takes seconds to really get that out of the way. So what we're mainly going to talk about today is the EMUI devices because they don't have GMS built into those devices. So there is a way to get that functionality. So the first thing we're going to talk about is how to get, well, two different ways on how to get that device Google services. One is through micro g and the aurora store and the second way is through g box now one more thing we're going to talk about is how to get hd quality videos for your huawei device so whether you have the mate xt the pura 80 series the pura 70 series or any of the other devices long as it's not harmony os next and it's an emui device the global versions this will help Let's get into it. So first, we're going to cover the Aurora method, which is my favorite and preferred method amongst the two. So first, you go into the Huawei App Gallery. That's a default app store for Huawei. And you're going to download two apps from there. One, both of them are Micro G related. The first is the Service Micro G app, and the other one is a Micro G Companion app. This is a pretty straightforward process. No permissions are required as they come from the default Huawei gallery. Then you're going to go to the Huawei browser because that's the only browser you're going to get on the phone. So what are you going to do? In your case, you can probably just search Aurora Huawei. And the first link that would usually come out is up to down there. You're going to click on the latest version. By the way, this is going to require some permissions from you. But again, it's very straightforward and the phone will technically walk you through it itself. You're going to download this version and install it. And remember, this is an external install. This is not coming from the Huawei store or anything like that. So there is going to be a little security check. No threats found. Then you install this and all the apps that you want instead of the Play Store, like how you do on any other Android, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the Aurora store. The only difference here really is after you get an app, what's going to happen is you have to wait for that download to finish and then press install. If you don't do that, what's going to happen? It's not really the download is going to get canceled and you have to re-download it, which can be a bit frustrating because, you know, we're just so used to just pressing install and just moving on just like this. Next, we're going to talk about the second method, which is going to be the G box way. This one basically requires you to download three box, uh, three apps from the Huawei app gallery. The two apps we've already spoken about, the micro G companion and micro G service. And you need to download the G box app. This is not my preferred method, mainly because updates have to be manually installed. But what you do get here is the natural play store that you would normally have. So if you have multiple accounts, where certain apps are not available in certain regions and whatnot, you might prefer this option. I personally don't, but this is something that you might prefer. Again, as you saw, you need to give the install permission. Now, what we're going to move on to next is nothing to do with the Play Store or downloads in that sense. It's basically about getting your Netflix working perfectly and other streaming services. Streaming services such as Prime Video, HBO, Hulu, whatever else you want to use or whatever else is common in your region. But what you're going to see is a lot of them on a Huawei device, even though it's an L1, they're just going to give you L3 permission. So as you can see here, this is the Netflix app that I have and it's L3, no HDR capabilities, SD quality. So now what are you going to do? You're going to download two apps. One is from your either Play Store or a store. It's going to be called DRM Info. And the second app that you need to download is in the app gallery of Huawei itself. It's called G space. So one thing, the Netflix that you have on your phone is going to be separate from the Netflix that's within G space. And that's going to apply to all of the streaming services. As you can see, this is within G space. So you have to put both DRM info and Netflix into G space. 
And what you're now going to see is essentially this Netflix version is now going to say L1, which is actually what the device ha does have. But because of verification purposes, the normal Netflix or other streaming services cannot pick up on the L3, L1 issue. Here you're going to see L1. And now you can see full HD, HEVC and HDR10. So, yep, that will solve your HDR problems and high definition content. So I hope you enjoyed that. And please do like and subscribe. And don't forget, we also sell these devices globally at unbeatable prices at the mobilemarvel.com. So please do go check it out. And please comment below if this video helped you or if you have any questions regarding on any issues that you face during the setup. Please do let me know. This is Mo checking out.